and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today, something a little bit different. As you might know, here at Flory Models, we like to bring you things that are a little bit different, a little bit perhaps you haven't seen it before, or just generally odd. So what we've got down in here is actually something I have never seen before done, didn't even know if it was available, and thanks to uh, my mate John for bringing it over to me to review for you guys. So what we've got is the RPG uh, scale model uh, Mark 15 Phalanx in 135th scale. Yeah, 135th scale. So this is that thing you see all over ships, um, just generally as a self-defense uh, system. It's designed to shoot down, obviously, missiles, inbound aircraft, things like that. It's that last line of defense. We've all seen them. We're all in awe of these things. They look absolutely phenomenal when they're going. And again, they do some absolutely crazy things to them, i.e. turning them into penguins, minions, and various other animals, as you can imagine, right the way through. But anyway, I've never seen it done before in a larger scale. So if you wanted something a little bit different and perhaps you've got like I don't know 135th scale diorama system going on something else like that this could be right up your street okay so they call it the close-in weapon system it's the mark 15 uh, with that fantastic gal uh, gun on this one so again rpgmodels.com uh, if you're looking for them you can do it in obviously different color schemes and various things they've got them down in there and as you can see on the back you actually get a very nice piece of photo etch with various things going on with that and we've obviously got some uh, ones and you can see down in here some of the designs that are done so the sort of you know the penguin one the chuck norris and yeah various things they've done to them over the time again haven't heard of this at all Okay, now John's already had a look in here, but I haven't. Okay, so there we go. We've got a nice bit of photo etch right off the bat. We'll pop that down there. Okay, so what we actually have is we've got our little booklet here. Okay. Okay, so usual thing, run through of all the parts, what you're going to get in the actual kit. And um, it looks like we've got metal barrels as well, some nice touches. So working our way straight the way through, we're actually running through with the, uh, the base for it uh, and the actual uh, mechanism, the turret, various things going onto this one. As you can see, loads of small little parts, adding lots and lots of detail onto this. Don't think this is just a couple of bits and that's it. Clearly it's not. So we've got various photo etch going down, making up the handles uh, and all different areas on this. So there's a lot of photo etch going to be adding a lot of detail into it okay working its way up through the ammunition containers the various things as it's going up you know, we're sort of working from the bottom up one then we've got the actual radar system which is in that sort of drum on the top okay so that's what one fitted in and then the top of that being fitted in as well We've got the optical sight system that's being fitted down onto the sides there and then more add-ons uh, add being put onto the actual uh, radar system being fitted in. Lots of photo etch as you can see, it's going to add a lot of detail onto this one and then as you can see adding all of this on which is going to take it literally up to that next level. A little photo etch bending here involved here I'm afraid people so you're going to have to get out your rolling uh, cutters and mats for this one and actually roll it into the correct profile for it but again you can then have it on or off to show the inside of the actual radar system which is a very nice touch indeed working so the mechanics being fitted into this one with all the drives as you might imagine again these are all in photo etch so talk about level of detail and this is going to be the actual motor which is going to drive the gun okay so all of those being fitted down into this one with the cog system and all of those as you can imagine a drive motor and the barrel system being fitted into all of those then we've actually got the the um well the mantle i suppose you'd call it for it for the gun system being fitted down into those right the way through and then lots of shavings off and various things to do just cutting off the nodules and the various areas for hitting these down to actually put the gun system into this one again a bit of photo etch bending to be honest but it's going to add the right level of detail i think so obviously the gun barrel being fitted down into that one and then we've got the metal barrels as you can imagine it's an entire metal assembly onto this one into the drum okay so that's all being fitted in vinyl i imagine these will be i'm just guessing Yes, I thought they might be. So we've got some vinyl down in there as well for the actual belts being fitted down into it. Then we've got the actual ammunition drum uh, being sorted out for that one. 
Okay, drum system, again, lots of cogs are showing the gearing and the various parts and making up some boxes out of photo etch again, right the way onto this one for the actual ammunition feed system. So we've actually got that one being fitted down into this, so that fits underneath then the actual turret itself. And then obviously it's gonna be assembly of it all in. So again, it's all on polycaps and various things as well. So it's all movable and totally poseable. And then as you might imagine, adding lots of handles to all the access areas, down actually on the gun system itself all right then even more photo etch adding lots more detail we've got these sort of strength the plates working it's right up out there and then we've got the steps as well so we've got the footsteps putting up the ladder system going up the side there as well so that's your actual diagram to show you the difference on these ones and then once you're done you should end up with something like this so again different versions of it with all the color call outs showing how they are actually on this one uh, that's the one done like a duck or is it a penguin probably a duck system onto this one we've got the navy one and then obviously i assume over here we have got uh, a chuck norris one as well so we've got the desert one down in this all right again love to show you stuff that's a little bit different and this i reckon will be really really cool so down in here if we start down in here i'll just get a closer camera you can see i won't get all this out but we've got the barrels so you've actually got the six barrel rotary cannon stuff there and all the photo etch and obviously we've got the, the decals down into here as well. It is beautifully done. The actual, uh, hopefully you can see in this, unfortunately it's had a little bit of a bend there, but you can probably see this is actually embossed as well. So you've got that sort of bolt detail already put into the photo etch, which is actually a very nice touch indeed. So a good chunk of photo etch, it actually weighs quite a bit as well. Okay, so where are we going to start? Okay, so if I get down into these, we'll have a proper good look at this because I haven't seen anything like this before. Okay, so again, this is Sprue B, okay, right off the bat, if you can see it. Uh, as you can see, various things. And again, straight into this, it's got gorgeous texture. All the details are very sharp. I've never heard of these people before, but I love their sort of multi uh, layered approach to this. So we've got texture down in here, you have the bolt heads and everything else are really very, very sharp. You've got raised and recessed detail all over this. So you've got tiny little bolts and all the various things on this. This little guy around the back here, again, it's got raised rivet details with recesses all over it. Again, very, very nice. This sort of anti-slip surface looks good to me, certainly in the scale. We've got no real sign of flash. It's quite a, a chunky plastic as well. It's quite a heavy duty plastic. And I have to say, I really like that. That's actually some very, very nice details into that. Okay, so we can keep this in some semblance of order. Uh, let's do the biggie bits and then we'll come back to the smaller bits. This is definitely one of those things I could see myself building as well. I'm not a fan of photo etch, let's face it, anybody who knows me knows that for a fact, but in this scenario, I think it adds that right level of detail. So again, various parts. The thing that jumps out to you straight away with all of this is how sharp the details are. They're very clean, crisply molded right the way through all of this. As you're working your way around the dome system, there's no sink marks, no nothing. It is incredibly well done. The ejector pins are all sort of neutral or flush, so that's quite nice as well. Not that there's any that are anywhere that are going to be in the way, but generally, hopefully you can see, that is really very, very nicely done indeed. Okay, so... They've got quite a, a basic website if you want to go and get some more details and there's some more good pictures of this. They've got it on their website as well. But as you can see, really nice. So we've got the gun, the ammunition barrel or tub there. All the small parts for the guns working your way up. That's actually really very, very nicely detailed. Really good detail in all of that. And then down on the blind side. Again, all of these parts, when you look at them, none of them have got anything that's going to be a problem or get in the way. You've got the odd little, like this one's got one here, little ejector pin that stood proud onto that one, but that's a quick clean off job. The rest of it's all very, very straightforward. You know, the same within these, these aren't a problem anyway. They're not going to touch anything, but you know what I mean. Okay, so last of the normal stuff. Okay, so we've got a couple of bits down in here. So 
So you can see, good level of detail, good sharp bits, just even like the handles down here, very, very nicely done. Got the minutest a bit of flash. Don't forget, you're looking at this under sort of micro conditions or macro conditions. So, you know, in real life, you don't really see them as well as you can see them on camera. Really very nice. And again, even on the blind side, everything's tucked out of the way. You've got a couple of these you want to probably knob out of the way, but generally the rest of it's all very nice. Again, dual sided with this one. Very nicely done indeed. Okay. And last up, we've got a little bit of vinyl down in here. Really, that's actually quite nice. Okay, really nice vinyl set. So we've got this sort of gator boot system down on there. They've got these ammunition ones, which are good, flexi. Okay, another boot system there. A couple of polycap type things. So obviously this thing is poseable and movable. Okay, and again, that's even that's nicely molded. There's no flash around it or anything else like that. Just straightforward, good quality molding on that. There you go. Want to build something a little bit different? Definitely. Uh, as we're getting this, I think you're going to have to hunt on eBay uh, and around. I don't think it's available in the UK, but definitely something really nice this one. So anyway, this is the RPG scale model, kit number 35005, 35th scale, Mark 15, Phalanx. Thank you.